Hey guys, Geek with the Tractor here. I wanted to give you a quick update. I've not been as regular posting my videos here recently. Um, work has just been slamming me. But um, I have I have a problem. I have a bit of a procrastination problem. For me, when I'm working on, when I go and tackle a project, I kind of want to have it all laid out in my head. I want to make sure I have all the parts and pieces to do it. Um, and some projects are really big and you just have to bite them off in small chunks. And that, for, for whatever reason, my mind is built in a way that, okay, I've got to have this week and these days, and this is how long it's going to take. And then I go out and I tackle it and I knock it out. It always kind of freaks me out whenever I look at a big project and I'm like, I have no idea <laughs> when this is going to get done. It was kind of something that I, I deal with too with work, you know, uh, whenever a feature is being worked on uh, and, you know, one of our clients says, so when do you think it'll be coming? <laughs> and I'm like, well, when it's done, <laughs> it's so hard to estimate because there's so many times when I go down a programming project and down I, I go down this rabbit hole and it just gets deeper and deeper and there's you fix one thing or you build one thing and it's connected with another thing and that takes a few days and before long what you thought would take two or three days is you know two or three weeks and you're like yeah I did not see all that all that kind of coming here's here's the principle um, that I know I need to work on and maybe this might uh, give you guys some some inspiration and hope maybe <laughs> realize you're not the only guy that maybe struggles with procrastination. Uh, you know, for me, I'm working all day and my therapy is to come outside and to you know, run the tractor, work in the garden, cut some trees, you know, do some yard work. You know, that's my uh, therapy time, getting, getting out uh, away from sitting at the computer all day. Uh, so sometimes, especially earlier in the spring, we're getting later in the spring now and the time shifted so we have more evening time. Um, I come out here and I think, okay, I got one hour. What can I do? <laughs> what can I do in just one hour? It, it's always, you know, ends up being two hours or I'm coming in late and they've already eaten or whatever. The, the key to anything, whether it is, is exercise or some new talent or skill, the thing that I've learned over the years is you just have to be consistent. I mean, even if I only came out here for 30 minutes and took my tractor into the backwoods and, and took out, you know, maybe took out a few trees or cleared a path or something because we're, we're getting ready to make a, um, a trail around the property, kind of a walking trail. So if I would just do it every day and there's so many days of like, I only got 30 minutes. I'm not going to go out there and do that. So, uh, you know, I piddle or I <laughs> do something inside it. It's totally useless. Something I did want to show you guys real quick here. I planted, you remember last fall, if you're tracking along here. I put these in. These are the um, the uh, Russian kale or Siberian kale. Mm, I can't remember. Anyways, I just put, put them in the ground there at the uh, end of fall there. Um and they grew up and I thought, well, they didn't grow very big. Well, this year they, well, they kind of wintered, overwintered. They were real small. And then this year they just took off and <laughs> they're already starting to, starting to flower. I may go ahead and let those flower out and collect the seeds on those. Um, but then I planted a bunch more in here and I put this wire on here because our cat, every time I dig up dirt, he thinks it becomes his litter box. And so he comes over, you can see back in there is a dugout spot. And I had a little exposed area over here, and um, I had to get some this chicken wire over here to kind of cover it. And he dug all that up. So I'm going to have, I had nice, beautiful rows of um, kale. Got a, got some small ones growing right there, one right there, some over here. Our family just loves kale, or most of our family, I should say, loves kale. And so we're going to start harvesting, this, harvesting some of this here and eating it. I think we already did some the other day. So anyways, that's kind of a neat little uh, little micro garden here with our lettuce and kale. I got some lettuce in there as well. And I got some down in the garden. So more garden vlog updates to come. Today, uh, 
I came out. I said I got about an hour, hour and a half before our family. We're going to do some things, uh, kind of have have some things planned later after supper. And I said, you know, I'm going to come out here for an hour. I'm going to cut up some trees, get them prepared for uh, moving with the tractor and whatnot. And I took the blade off, and I have a a um, not the blade, but the chain. I have a chain sharpener. I have a little uh, tooth sharpener inside uh, inside there. And I went and got it all sharpened, ready to go. And when I got off and noticed, I said, man, I knew the last time that I was using this, it was over on the shed project, uh, the barn slash shed project. I never know what to call it. Anyways, if you haven't seen that episode, be sure to check it out. I took it out and I was um, doing some cutting and I started sparking a little bit in there. And for whatever reason, the teeth were really chiseling away at this cylinder here. I don't know what it's called, but I got it off and I'm going to take it in and see if I can get the, get the part and then come back and replace it. So because of this groove that I have in here now, when I went to put it back on, the chain won't tighten down on the bar properly. It just kind of hangs loosely because it's, the teeth are sitting in that groove and so it's not taut, you know, it's not tight. But the good news is I took it apart and I actually still need to do a little bit more cleaning. Big truck going by. Still need to do a little bit more cleaning, but uh, this was all filled out in with, with a bunch of gunk and stuff. And, and I've just not taken the time to do that. So I cleaned a bunch of that out. I'll probably do a little bit more here before I, I wrap up. So basically, my hour was used doing chainsaw maintenance. <laughs> and, I, you know, I, I, I would like to, I don't know exactly all the demographic of who's following. I'm a software engineer uh, by trade. We moved out, bought five acres. I'm learning all kinds of new things, uh, experimenting, figuring things out. And I know that I have other software developer friends who might be watching this channel who are doing the same thing, especially with COVID. Maybe you've moved out in uh, of the city and you decided to uh, try to tame the country or to grow your own food or whatever it is. Some of the mess some of the things that you will hear from me is my learning journey, uh, experiencing things for the first time in many cases. In some cases, uh, my dad is very much of a, a renaissance man, a, a jack of all trades, and he has a lot of experience. So I did pick up a few things from him growing up, and that's helped me out a lot, I believe. But I still feel like I have um, two left feet so many times <laughs> whenever I'm doing things. Um, so, you know, my shared experience, I wanna give maybe to people who are, are new at this, um, we're trying to do the homesteading thing. Uh, we're, our water is off the grid. We have a well um, and we have a home filtration system. Next thing to, to tackle is, is, the, is the electricity, uh, solar panels and that kind of thing. I'm not sure, I don't know if I'll get to that this year because we need to build this garage and expand our space, kind of put set up an office space, set a place up to park my Don, John Deere in, uh, that kind of thing, keep it keep it in good condition while I'm not using it rather than just sitting out under the elements. More videos are coming, more project videos are coming. Uh, one of the things with the uh, the water system we're doing, the water collection system I'm working on, we got part of that done earlier this year, um, which the video is already filmed on that, but I, I need to finish uh, the rest of the part that I need to do to run it into the well. And then the overflow is going to go down into some tanks that we're putting down into the garden, which we will then use to um, water the garden. So that's gonna be a really exciting project video. I don't know exactly, like, <laughs> like I said earlier, I don't know when it's coming, but when it gets done, I'll put up the video, share it with you guys. Hopefully you'll pick up some things um, maybe from that. And you know, I'm, I know I'm gonna learn a lot in the process. I gotta get this fixed. Nothing productive done. Oh, I, I shouldn't say productive. I guess I did get, I'm getting the the chainsaw main, maintained and getting it ready to uh, tackle some more trees. Um, so I got to get that part. Until next time, keep tracking, guys.